Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? We are back on the far side server and we are just getting some XP. Don't whoa, whoa, whoa there, dude. Dude, just calm down, calm down, calm down. Jeez, this is a great place to get XP. This desert, um, but I'm here getting XP because I need to repair my boots. I also need to repair my helmet, but my boots are my number one priority. Uh, they don't have them breaking on them, so they are about to break, as you guys can see. So, I'm just here getting levels, eh, because I need 20 for one for one diamond of repair. Um, for two diamonds of repair, I need uh, 23 levels, I think, so I might get 23 if I'm able to. I also have a zombie spawner down there. I could, like, set that up, but zombie spawner right over there. I don't need it. I like killing things. I like killing spiders and creepers, to be honest with you, because then I get string and glowstone, which is two things I want. So let's go over here, let's get these spiders. Let's get that spider. Let's get that spider. Let's get that creeper. Do we get him? Do we get him? Oh, nailed him! Oh, no, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Hey, that creeper up there died. He must have one shot. Look at that, one shot wonder. Ooh, iron. Hey! Hey, we got an iron ingot, guys. But today, what I plan on do- What am I doing? I didn't turn my sounds down. Oh, it's, it is down. Ow! 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 Why you doing? Why you do that? Why you do that? Why you do that? You angry? You angry? I think it's an angry individual. But, uh... Today I plan on starting... I got... So last episode we went and found all those new biomes of the new snapshot or whatever. And, uh... I came to the realization that... Uh... Hey dude, you're, uh... I came back and I... Didn't have any place to put the flowers. And then I was like, dude, you don't really have any place to put anything if you go and get anything new. So, oh, let's go get all those creepers. Um, so, what I'm going to start doing is start work on what I eventually want to be the... Uh... Oh, I feel like... Oh, jeez. What's up, creeper? You know, I told you I wanted you. That's okay. Um, these, my sounds are loud. Let's turn those down a little bit. There we go. Whoa, 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 that happened, didn't it? Yep, there we go. So, ooh, there we go. So I would like to start on it. I have a couple ideas of what I want to do with it, where I want it, stuff like that. So it'll be fun to do. I hope you guys like it. Um, I know you guys will like it. Well, who doesn't like my stuff? You know what I mean? No, I'm just joking. But uh, I'm pretty sure you guys will like it, and it's a pretty nifty idea. Uh... I would tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. So I will bring you guys back uh, once we get to repair my boots. Okay, so I have a dilemma. Uh, soon. I have a dilemma. I'm trying to decide this stair or this stair. I'm kind of liking the more dark just because there's so much quartz in the build already that I think that is what I want to keep. I, I decided that I kind of like having a little bit of an accent somewhere in there, and I didn't want, um, I didn't want the full black, the full, uh, nether brick. It just, something about it wasn't feeling, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. I just wanted something else. I think this quartz in there, oh, no, this quartz in there will look good. I really wish I could have half slab clay. If I could have half slab clay, this would be the same color as the ground right here. So, yeah, I, th I think that looks good. That should do it. I could always try stone, too. No, you can't make stone half slabs. Can you, can you make stone half slabs? Not stone, but uh, stone brick half slabs? Yeah! Ooh, you can. How's that look? Stone brick with the quartz. You know what? That might look sharp. That might look real sharp. Let's give that a try real quick. Let's take the rest of our stone brick and make it into half slabs. Do 20 of them. You know what? That might that might do it, actually. That might be it. Is that going to do it? I think that just took it over. Because that's like a silver with a white. That's good. That look, especially with... Yeah, especially with the fireplace being these. I think it just works works good. I could have made the fires, fireplace. I could have made the fireplace out of nether brick. Hmm. 
But this looks sharp. This does look sharp. So we'll, you know, it, it looks sharp and it matches better with the ground anyways. So we're going to keep it. That looks good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I hope you guys do. I hope you guys do. So we're going to build the uh, room down here, three wide. And I've kind of, like, as you guys can see, I kind of pre-planned it. I had it right here next to the stairway. Um, but I want, I think, just by looking at it, I think I want to have, I don't think I want to have it, like, right here where you come up and it's, like, the stairs right here. I think I want to have something here so I can put, like, maybe plants or something. Uh, speaking of plants, I put these plants up here. Put these little orange ones in here. Look good. I like them. I like them a lot. So uh, we're going to build it right there. I wanted to have some sort of, like, mechanism here that made it look all cool. Like, opened up and did something and did something else and something cool, but that didn't quite work out. Um, but I think for, like, lighting purposes and stuff, I'm going to go down one more even after this. So I'm going to um, end up, like, replacing that with with clay like so so it matches the floor like that and then we're gonna go down one more because I want this to be um, like actually have some space between it because now I have I guess I really I don't really have that much room but I'll have all that room that's out underneath there really actually if I think about it so that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be an entrance right there like that uh, I have to decide what I want the side walls to be and what I want the uh, stairs to be like, because I don't think I'm going to have them this same color. It might be like a red stair going down or a red and white. I don't know. Uh, but for those levels, let's see what we got going on here. Not even close to being cooked yet. Not even close. So um, I will get a little bit of dugout down there and bring you guys back. All right. So this is what we got so far. I've dug this out a little bit. I don't know if this is going to be quite as big as I would have liked it to be, but, um, I do have a lot of room still to go over here. Uh, if we go out here and we just like dig over here randomly, like we have quite a bit of room still to go over here. I'll tell you guys what I'm doing. Just, to, just a quick second. But look at all this room. We still have a lot of room to, until we hit even the first sign of dirt over here. So you know what? It probably will be big enough. I knew it was going to be that. It's going to be like a shifted, like, if you guys could see my hands right now, <laughs> it's going to be like a shifted smaller circle over here, bigger circle type of thing over there. Um, and what I'm going to end up doing is this is going to be a skylight type of thing where... Uh, out here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bunch of work out here too. See, like, get all that room. I gotta, like, terraform all that over there, get all that out of there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have these two levels right here. I think these two levels. Um, yeah. Just two. Yeah, just two. These two levels right here. Or these two levels. One of the two. I can't decide. One of these two levels. I'm going to have retract pistons. So when I come down, this will open up skylight and let in natural light, assuming it's day out. And if not, then we'll have light that takes care of that. I'll put like light like out in front of it, like underneath. Hide, hide some lighting sort of thing. So if it is night, there's still light that comes through. But that's kind of my idea for this. It's going to be like an open, like a... Doors opening, skylight type of thing. Probably from the middle going outwards, maybe, is how I'll end up doing it. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. But, uh, but yeah, let's see if we can get enough levels here. I went out and got some clay during that break, and I've been cooking it. Hopefully, oh, jeez, this isn't going to be enough, is it? Uh, this isn't going to be enough. Sure isn't. Let's, uh, let's, oh, nope. We're going to need some coal, some more levels. There we go. We'll put this in there too, because we're gonna need some stone, so we might as well put it in there. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Okay. Well, uh, the reason why I have those levers on there is I don't have this set up like like I would like to either. Um, yet this is all this is all part of the plan eventually. But these are so that I can gain XP. I used to put it in here, and then I realized like I put a bunch of stone and all my stuff in there. Like, all this clay, all this clay I put in there. And then I realized, I'm not getting any levels from it. So, I put these levers on there so that if I want the levels like I do now, I'll flip it. And if I don't want them or need them, 
and just want to get them done quick while I'm like working or something and don't want to pay attention to it, then I can flip those up. But uh, those will probably all go down on another extension off of this. So what this will eventually be is going to be the storage room. And like in the middle, like I'm going to have storage on the outside, right? Single chests, everything. Like single chests will be wall. Like I'm going to put single chests. Um, like if I end up putting these two, I'll put a single chest here and a single chest here type of thing. Or if I end up moving just these bottom two, I'll put single chests up here type of thing. Uh, to where those would be like my walls and like things that you don't really need a lot of, but it's nice to have it. Um, and then all my regular stuff will go in double chests all along these walls and same over there. Um, so yeah. And then maybe a smelting room. I'll put like maybe, uh, something. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put off like... Just off to the side, maybe. An actual separate room for smelting. I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for, like, colors or anything down here, what I should do. Um, I've kind of been thinking. I know it would be expensive and take a long time. Kind of be a work in progress. But what do you guys think of something like redstone? Because it's power. And uh, redstone and iron. Like, how does that look together? I've never seen redstone and iron really together. But I don't know what type of pattern I'd put it in, or if there'd be some type of cool pattern to put it in, put it in or not. But, uh, ooh, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. I think I did pretty good. That's a good choice, I like it. But you know what, I don't really want like a regular style like that, so maybe you guys, if you have a suggestion for a cool style that you guys have seen, or like something like that, that'd be really cool. I'll put this back because I want to know what that was. Is that how that was? That was like that. Yeah, that was like that. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So if you guys have any cool ideas of designs, maybe I'll look some up. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I like it. I like it. So I will probably end up going with that. But she venom has something that she wants to show me. So I'm going to go take a look at that and then we'll be right back. <laughs> Do you guys see it over there? I see it. Let's go see what she's that she venom is up to. So I've been at spawn in a while for uh, videos at least. Um, this is Slamscape's new house. Shout out to Slam down in the description, just like all the other far siders. But this is a uh, Slamscape's uh, little mansion he built. This thing is nice. It's huge. Gravel is just a placeholder. But look at this is he he really is a creative. Whoa, we don't. No, what? no, 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 no. That's the only bad thing. He doesn't have a lit up enough spot, mob, mob spawn in it and stay in there. But definitely a creative guy. And obviously someone didn't repair. But uh, let's see what... That's a nice truck. That's a really high truck. I can walk under it. Look at this. Look at her. What's she doing? She said something about a circus. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That is awesome. Just a that's that's a good one, she. That is a great one, she venom. Anyone who doesn't have she and not sub she venom, go take go check her out. Oh, look at all this. What a creative idea. What a good idea. Let's see what she has to do. Am I allowed to show this? Let's see what she has to say. See if see if I'm allowed to show it. Hmm. She Venom Circus Truck 9000. Honk if you're horny. Far Side, California. Yeah. Um. Well, I can't honk anything, so. Mm. Far Side, California. Hey, that, that I, I live in California. I wonder, if, I wonder if that's near me. Anyways. Let's. When did these glowstone come on the dang thing? Um. So yeah, obviously it's not done. She's still making it. Uh, but it is definitely cool. What's up with all this glowstone? She must have placed it there. Like, for safety precautions while she's building here or something. Looking good. Nice tent. Nice tent she's got going on here. We'll, uh, we'll leave her be though and not ruin any more of her surprises. Okay, so let's, oops. Let's get this, uh, 
Let's get this dang helmet fixed. No boots, boots. We got 23 levels, which is what it should be. You know, let's just see how much it takes to put a third diamond on there. You know, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all to uh, place another third diamond on there. There we go. They they'd almost be fully repaired. Let's see what we get. Oh, I've, I've been out of the chunk most of the time. Dang it. Dang it. 23, yeah. You know, we'll just... We'll stick with the 23. 23 is good right now. Nope. 23. There you go. How much would it, how much is it gonna cost me now to put another one on? 22? <sighs> Maybe it's the same amount of XP. I don't know. I don't know. Um. But I don't think that's... <laughs> I'm just talking with She Venom. She's, she's on the server all the time. And, uh, I was just, I was just, I was just telling, I was just talking with her about uploading, and I, how I was thinking that, how she would have a lot of great content, cause she did, they did, her and Zangief did some stuff, she didn't record it. I was like, ah, oh, and then she's building that circus, and I'm like, why don't you record any of that? She's like, ah. Oh. But, she's right, uh, I just none of my business, none of my business. That's, that wasn't supposed to grow. But, um, but yeah, uh, what am I doing? See, look at I'm running out of room on where to put crap. This needs to, this needs to change. This needs to change. This needs to change. Okay. So, uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. Can't remember what it was I was gonna do. And I was working on that, but there's something I, like I wanted to do. Hmm. I don't remember. Alright guys, so I got it all cleared out down here now as you guys can see. It's not all that big, but what I ended up doing was doing a, a double, 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 single, single, double, double, double this way. And then um, what's going to end up happening is it would be something like this. Oops. This will get blown out like this. In which we would have to then fill in this. Let's do that real quick. Something like that. To where this level right here, this level will stay because I need some place to hide the pistons and whatnot. So then the pistons, oops, pistons will go like right here. I'll have to do some terraforming, like add a little couple extra layers. And, but it'll be all good. It'll be all good. Um, so yeah. How do you guys like it? I like it. I like the thought of it. Or maybe I could even bring this in. Take out this last indention right here and bring this in one. So then I don't... Yeah, that'll probably be the easiest, actually. Just bring this... Bring this like this. And just forget about... Bring this right here. That'd still give us a double chest over there. And it would only take out, uh, then we'd have to go along here too. Because I think I want, is that how I want to do that? This one would stay. This would go, this would go, this would go. So I really only need to hide the piston, whoa. I really don't need to hide the pistons right here, I think. Yeah. Because these will open, the glass panes will be right here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But this is my store. This is going to be my storage room. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, do a little bit more progress and see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I have the basics of this down, uh, design wise. I have the flooring. <laughs> if you guys can't kinda, if you don't see the pattern, there is a little bit of a pattern. It's not like perfect, um, but it's just a little wave type of thing. Woo! And then there should technically be a block there, but I have it outlined, uh, the floor in the stone brick. And, uh, so it's, woo! <laughs> it's gonna be pretty, I like it, I like it. So, a wave kind of going in and out, in and out. Um, and then I've been kind of designing this uh, wall right here. 
And I think this is what I came up with that I'm going to do. I think I decided I'm going to do the wall in the cyan clay. Oh, no. Uh, this one actually needs to go. This needs to be dug out. Um, but what ended up happening, but uh, I'll tell you guys what ended up happening real quick. I was, uh, and then use a cyan wall right here to look like that. I like it, and then come back in with the uh, cyan clay all the way around. I like the look, and that goes right there. Yeah, there we go. Um, but I'm using my fortune pick, my unbreaking efficiency fortune pick. I have two of them, but um, yesterday, see, don't you guys like how that looks? I like how it looks. It's kind of like, I want this to be like a workshop type of feel, so I that's why I kind of put the metal, you know, the iron look. And then this was eventually, I was just going to eventually scatter the coal blocks around to be like oil spills type of thing. But then I was like, I want a little bit more color. I don't want like a checkered flag type of field down here or anything. And so I threw in the red and the blue and I, I end up liking it. So uh, let's make some more cyan. Need some more of the uh, cactus. So let's, ooh, yeah, food, food. We need to put food away then. We're getting food. We need to put food away. Uh, a creeper came and blew up my uh, area. So let's, um, you know what? How do we, we need eight? So let's, there we go. We need all of those. There we go. And there we go. How did that one only get 13? There we go. We made up for it. There we go. So let's, uh, sorry guys. <laughs> I should have done this maintenance before I came back on. All right. That's fine. Um, we'll, cook half of those there cook the other half there um, we need the lapis lapis and cactus green so what I was thinking also was I did a little bit of different designs um, let me know what you guys think chests are going right here so chests will be right at the edge of this um, but I need lighting and I figured a good way I could hide lighting would be one of these two routes would either be this. I'll pick those up once we get this figured out. Um, either this, which I think I prefer this one more. Uh, I prefer the redstone lamps under it. Or you could do the jack-o'-lanterns. And then put the chest on top of that. Personally, I prefer the redstone lamps. I don't know. I just The, the orange I don't feel like goes in with this this room very much that little orange bit right there so that's what I was thinking the um, the redstone lamps I like better I know I'm using a lot of redstone but or a lot of a uh, glowstone but I I like it better I just ha I have a better feel for it feels better to me so something like this more or less and then we do that that and then I have to decide how I want to do the ceiling. If I do half slabs for the ceiling, then I'll be able to put an extra one on the top there. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to decide kind of what, what we end up doing with that. But I think I'm going to go with the glowstone. The uh, glowstone for the ground everywhere. Let's uh, do that. So I will uh, continue to do that, and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I have this idea of, by the way, walls are finished and the chests are in as of right now i'm not going to put any top on because i only had one chest left um but i wanted a workbench in here because this is like a working area it's like the place where you come and make your stuff and whatnot so we kind of need a little bit of everything down here um in terms of what it takes to make things and i just this is my workbench because like in my in my growing up my grandpa and my dad the things that they had was work had was had were workbenches. You know, I grew up in the Midwest, so it was kind of like you used your hands, you knew how to use your hands, and you know we have workbenches, and usually, like they were made by my grandpa or you know made back in the the you know 40s, 50s, 60s, and they've been around since then. And the way they always built them was they built these these hunkin two by you know took these huge two by our two by fours put a bunch of them together put on a huge slab on top 
and then they covered it in metal. And that's what made the top was the metal so that you could pound on it and hit it and it wouldn't crack it and it would protect the wood. And that's kind of what this is. This represents. It's a wood, wood base with a metal, metal or wool top. Um, that's just a, that's just the thinnest thing that looks like it's metal, you know? Um, and they don't, you can't make half slab, uh, iron blocks of iron, which that would be cool if you could, but you can't. Um, but I thought, do I have two of them on me? I thought, why not make these corner two right here? Because it's supposed to be a workbench, right? Functional. Let's make it a little bit functional. I thought we could place that there, place that there, use that as the legs. And then put the gray, gray wool back on top of it. Could do that. Or, you know what, let's try this. Here's just a different idea. Let's put the workbenches in the middle to kind of hide the light. Because we don't need the light on this side. We need a, we need the light for over here. Um, put that back on top. And then we can use this. There we go. You know, I like that better. That looks good. I like that. Perfect. And... You know what? This is the first time I've ever used jungle wood in actually building. I got, I went to creative and I looked at the different types of wood and this wood just looked like it was a little bit more weathered and kind of like a older look than, uh, you know, spruce is dark. I didn't want spruce. Oak is light. I needed something that looked like it was weathered a little bit. And you know what? Jungle wood actually looks a little bit weathered. At least in my opinion compared to the other two. And that's what I wanted was that sort of feel and look. And as you guys can see, that is the storage facility for now. We're not going to uh, automate it like I want to yet. Uh, I'm going to put, I'll show you guys. Let's go, you know, let's go get those. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to need that block of iron to be made into iron. We're going to do this for the pressure plates. Since now the, uh, let me show you guys. Now the, these other pressure plates in the new snapshot, these pressure plates are now able to be walked on and send out a redstone signal. So that's what we're going to do. Um, how far? I think a player, I think players wise, it goes by how many players are on it. So this is only going to send out one. Yep. So we'll, we'll take care of that. We'll take care of that. Um, oops, oopsie daisy, oopsie daisy. Uh, there we go. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these, uh, these right here to open and close this right here so when you walk out all the uh shades will come back up all the pistons will so then no light will come in down there and then when you come down here doop, then all these will open up and you'll be able to see out so that's how that's gonna go but that's gonna conclude it for today's episode so i hope you guys enjoyed like always i got a nice pink enchanted leather tunic armor but like always, guys, my name is VLSI. Dream big.